Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. At the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation, our mission is to provide the advocacy and educational resources needed to the epilepsy community and our society. We are dedicated to removing the stigma associated with epilepsy and help to create opportunities for individuals battling epilepsy. In this presentation, we will discuss what gelastic and dacrystic seizures are, the causes of gelastic and dacrystic seizures, symptoms of gelastic and dacrystic seizures, what to do if someone is having a gelastic or dacrystic seizure, and treatments for gelastic and dacrystic seizures. Gelastic seizures are often referred to as laughing seizures. They are characterized by mechanical laughing or giggling, followed by a state of confusion. Gelastic seizures are partial or focal seizures that originate in the hypothalamus. Gelastic seizures are brief, lasting 10 to 20 seconds on average. Gelastic seizures develop in infancy or early adulthood. The Dacrystic seizures are focal or partial seizures in which a person cries or weeps. The Dacrystic seizures are rare, commonly occurring with gelastic seizures and or generalized tonic-clonic seizures. The most common cause of gelastic and dacrystic seizures is a benign brain tumor called hypothalamic hematoma. Seizures typically begin in early childhood. When hypothalamic hematoma is present, patients often develop other seizure types in addition to gelastic and dacrystic seizures in time. Approximately 50% of children with gelastic and dacrystic seizures caused by hypothalamic hematoma often experience precocious puberty, which is a child's body begins to change into an adult too soon. Children with gelastic seizures and hypothalamic hematoma are usually cognitively normal prior to the onset of seizures. Cognition remains normal in 35 to 40 percent of individuals. For some cases, cognitive impairment develops after the onset of epilepsy. Behavioral problems such as aggression, anxiety, and mood disorders can develop. Non-hypothalamic hematoma develops from brain lesions and is extremely rare. It is mostly seen in patients with adult onset gelastic seizures. When dacrystic and gelastic seizures are both present, the likely cause is hypothalamic hematoma. When dacrystic seizures are not accompanied by gelastic seizures, brain lesions in the temporal cortex is the likely cause. Patients with dacrystic seizures are at risk of developing the same behavioral and psychiatric problems as those suffering from gelastic seizures. Additionally, patients with dacrystic seizures are at risk of being misdiagnosed with depression. The most common sign of a gelastic seizure is the patient's startling. They may look like they are going to panic or are afraid. Other symptoms include a smile that seems forced, laughing that begins and stops suddenly, grunting, lip smacking, mumbling, and fidgeting. When someone has a dacrystic seizure, they display uncontrolled crying. Other symptoms they may display are grimacing, sobbing, sad facial expression, yelling, subjective feeling of sadness, and lacrimation. If someone is having a gelastic or dacrystic seizure, stay by the person and offer support. If they have a seizure in public, it can make them very anxious, worried about what others might think about their behavior. People having gelastic and dacrystic seizures are conscious and aware of their surroundings. Even though someone having a gelastic seizure may be laughing, they can be in a very uncomfortable state, depending on their environment. It is the same for someone having a dacrystic seizure and suddenly displays negative emotions or crying. Educate others on what is taking place and do what you can to keep the person at ease. Gelastic and dacrystic seizures are treated with anti-seizure medication. Common medications are cabamazepine, clobazam, lamictatrine, lacosamide, levetiracetine, ascarbazamine, and topriamate. If the gelastic seizures are the result of a tumor, 
laser ablation may be an option. Laser ablation uses focused light and heat from a laser to kill unhealthy brain cells. Imaging technology helps to place the probe in the proper location to eliminate the unhealthy brain cells. In some cases, radiation may be used to shrink the tumor. To learn more about what gelastic and dacristic seizures are, please check out the resources used in our presentation today. Please like and follow us on our social media pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy.